The four main resources that humans need to survive are being compromised by the effects of climate change. Food, water, clean air, and land for shelter. These things may seem plentiful from your perspective, but if we take a look at the bigger picture and the world as a whole, these resources are rapidly depleting and being polluted. The only way anything is going to change is if we do something about it. Climate change gives our generation a chance to take everything we're learning about our environment and act on it in a positive way. One of the things about environmental impacts is that if you don't see it right next to you, you don't see it and you don't take any action. Sometimes it's overwhelming to think about all that's going on in the world, but we need to educate people on the impact that one person can have. But a lot of people ask the question, will my actions really make a difference? And what can I do about it? The effect that our food has on the environment is often disregarded when it comes to talking about climate change. If we stopped animal agriculture in North America alone, we could feed every hungry person on Earth. 70% of Amazon deforestation is caused by livestock. And this is the lungs of the Earth we are talking about, which hold about 10% of the planet's biodiversity. You know, for me, the elephant in the room really is animal agriculture. Uh, it's the leading cause of species extinction, the leading cause of oceanic dead zones, temperature rise, methane production, um, the amount of land on the Earth. It's about 35 to 45% of the Earth's land is used for grazing cattle. These agricultural practices are responsible for the destruction of our four main resources. Choosing to consume this way is making it hard for all of us to live sustainably. The evidence supporting this information is becoming even more relevant as we are running out of time. You know, the way I see it is this could be the last generation on Earth to be able to do anything about climate change. By the time this generation has children, it'll be too late. And you only have to look to the last 40 years to realize that humanity has already destroyed 50% of the Earth's wildlife. And that's just in the last 40 years. So it begs the question of what will the next 40 years look like? And that's quite a scary thought. This is the generation where we have to choose between being comfortably ignorant or sacrificing a little bit of convenience. At your very next meal, you can just decide to not eat animal products and not just start saving animals' lives and lower your cholesterol, but you can stop directly funding the most environmentally destructive industry on the planet. And it really is that easy. I think it is important for people to accept personal responsibility and not just uh, rationalize it away and say, well, you know, I'm just one person. I think that we should be empowered to make a collective difference. It's a scary time we're living in, and it depends right now, in this very moment, what kind of future we're going to paint for ourselves. Which road do we want to go down?